What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to the 6th episode of my FIFA 14 World Cup Squad Builder Series which I'm doing on my channel. Basically what it is, is I'm going to be building a squad for every team participating in the Summer World Cup 2014 at Brazil. Uh, basically I'm going to build a squad for every team and uh, then play a couple of games with it, get some goals and uh, which you'll see a bit later on in the episode. Get, try and build the squads with them. Um, some of the better players of that nation, as well as, like, I'm, I'm going to exclude the players that have retired that you probably won't see featured in the World Cup. But um, today we're going to be moving on to South Korea. Um, got some fairly solid silver players, got a couple of gold players as well. Last episode we went out and built the USA, United States, America squad. So be sure to go and check that out. I've done some very other, very... Very good um, nations uh, previously. Uh, Cameroon have been fairly solid. Let's go and check those squads out as well. But uh, we're moving on to, I'm not too sure what group, um, uh, sorry, South Korea are actually in. But I'm kind of doing them in group order, logically. I'm um, going from A, B, um, all the way down. I believe there's one squad, one nation I cannot do, which is Iran. There's no players I can possibly build a squad out of. So uh, that's going to be the only one we won't be able to do. But so we're going to swiftly move on to the South Korean squad builder. And we'll start off with in goal. Um, let me quickly set the nationality to, um, I think it's just Korea on this. Uh, but uh, in goal, we've got a silver keeper, 73 rated player. And uh, he actually did fairly solid um, for me in goal. Um, as you can see, let's quickly move on. This player here, um, I'm not too sure the pronunciation of some of these names. But uh, it's this player here, Song Young Young. And um, this guy, fairly solid in goal, 73 rated. Look at those stats, 70s in the place you want 88 kicking as well he can smack that ball right down the field um six at three so he's a very very well-rounded keeper i definitely recommend picking him up if you're looking for a silver keeper moving on to the right back here we've got a player called choi yo hin um plays for Seoul um in the uh i believe it's the korean league and he's got 86 pace and that's the main standout stats for him he's also got high attacking and high um defending so um he doesn't get too far up the field, um, which is fairly nice as well. Um, also, he's just got fairly solid stats and defensive dribbling and stuff like you want. Shooting, you don't really care about, so that doesn't matter. Moving on to the two centre-backs. First we're going to have here is this player here, Ho Yong Yong Ho. And the other player is going to be this player here, Kyak Tiwi. Um, uh, we're going to start off with Ho here, 80 pace centre-back. Um, I picked him up with the central to one, so his defending's better. 80 heading, 71 defending. This guy's absolutely phenomenal back. Plays in the Bundesliga, and I definitely recommend picking him up. Uh, just under 5k as well, which is fairly decent. Moving on to the other centre-back, 73 rated player. Picked him up for under grand. And this guy's more of the um, defensive and he better head player. Pace is a bit less, but still 63 pace is fairly so he plays in the Saudi League. Moving on to the final player of the defence, our left back, we have this player here, Hyong Shao. Um, 87 pace, again, that standout stat, that's just what I was looking for. A bit of pace. Uh, the defence is very, very pace indeed and very solid as well, which uh, worked quite well in this squad. Um, we're going to be moving into a different formation. It's going to be the 4-5-1. I think we're going the wrong way. Hold on, there you go. 4-5-1, just the traditional 4-5-1 with the cent holding centre mid, which worked very, very well with this player here, Key plays for Sunderland, uh, 74 rated player, picked him up for 2.3k, and uh, those stats aren't the, like, if you were to look at them, they're not the strongest, his pace isn't too bad, um, shooting, 69 shot, not too bad, 77 dribbling, 79 passing, and 60 defending, uh, high attacking, um, which is kind of a bad thing in the sense that um, normally when we were on the attack, he was up there supporting, which is a good thing, obviously. But uh, on the defence, when the ball gets smacked back down the field, um, I felt like there's quite a big gap. So that's probably the only weak link of the squad, just the big gap between the defence and that. But having a really, really pacey defence worked quite well with um, this how the squad was set up. Moving on to the right-hand side, we've got a player called Lee, 74 rated, 80 pace, place for Bolton, and just average stats across the board. Four-star skill moves, cost me a grand, 77 pace, 70 passing. Um, nothing else much to talk about that player. Moving out onto the left-hand side, we actually picked up a left wing card, I do believe. Uh, didn't put him down into the left mid spot. And this is going to be this player here, Nam Hyun Ye. Uh, plays in the Korean League, 66 rated, and he was one of the strongest left-sided players um, for Korea I could pick. Um, 80 pace, and not much else to talk about, but he scored some fairly solid goals, um, so he worked quite well actually out on that left-hand side. Moving on to the two centre-attacking mids, first we're going to have here is Ku, and the other player is going to be another Sundan player, which is Ji. Um, we're going to start off with Ku, goal player here, 76 rated, um, and uh, look at those stats, 77 pace, 81 dribbling, 74 shots, 73 passing. Those are the stats you want for a centre-attacking mid with four-star skin, with three-star weak um, foot, sorry, and he worked very, very well with the Scar Price goal player. Definitely around picking him up if you're going for something like this squad, or he could you be utilised in that cam roll. Moving on to the 
other to the other central attacking mid. We've got this player, 72 rated G, plays for Sunderland. And um, this guy, he probably would work a bit, bit better in that centre mid spot if he had the higher defensive stats. But 76 pace, 74 dribbling, 70 shoot and 77 heading. Very, very good player indeed. Four star weak foot, three star skill move. And it uh, worked very, very well in that cam spot. And moving on to the final player of the squad up front, we're going to have a goal player. He's actually got an inform card, but he actually plays out on the left, which is very, very annoying. Um, because this card is very, very good card indeed. I definitely recommend picking this, trying this guy out. Um, picking him up with the Hawks, so he's a bit faster, but 83 pace, 79 dribbling, 76 shoot, 5 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, and this guy scored an absolute rocket of a shot, top right hand corner, outside of the foot, so make sure you go and stay tuned to the goals, but guys, that is the squad there, overall it seemed to work fairly decently, we're going to be moving on to some of the goals, so make sure you guys stay tuned, and I'll spoil it to you in a bit. Okay guys, so let's get straight into the goals and I'm going to quickly run down through the players and tell you what I overall think. But before, let's have a look at the Sun Screamer Bolt there. Um, fantastic player, Sun. He's got an informed version, which is a left wing, unfortunately. Um, if it was a striker, I'd have definitely had him in the squad. But uh, he actually seems to be a very, very good striker indeed. Always in the right spot and uh, had decent shooting, decent skills and stuff like that. So I uh, would recommend picking him up if you're looking for a cheap, non-rare Bundesliga striker. Uh, moving on to the two cams here. We've got a player called Ku and G. Uh, start off with Ku, the gold um, non-rare player. Sorry. Um, again, Fairly, very good player. Got decent stats across the board, which you're mainly looking for. Decent work rates as well, and uh, scored a couple of goals for the squad, which uh, you always want to have nice assists as well, and always had a decent amount of pace. Uh, G, again, very, very similar player. A um, bit more defensive, I felt. He wasn't up the field as much as Ku, which kind of worked quite well in the type of the squad I had. Uh, but I was always there to go and slot the goals in if were, if there was needed. Uh, moving on to the wingers, got a player called Lee out on the right-hand side. 74-rated player, plays for Bolton. And um, he, not the fastest of players, but again, a very, very good option on that right-hand side. Again, not one of those players that was too attacking, too dropping. Um, the only problem I did find with this squad was the fact that uh, quite a few players didn't have high attack and work rates, um, especially striker as well. Well, that uh, I kind of felt a bit lacking up front, but uh, when we did have enough players, we scored some very, very nice goals indeed. Left wing, um, the player called GA, he was probably the only weak link on the squad, of the squad, sorry, and that's just because he is a low rated player. Didn't really have too much pace, didn't really have anything going for him in terms of like outstanding stats, but uh, still was there, scored some nice goals as well. So um, I can't blame him, he's a fairly solid left wing, but probably I would have liked someone better, maybe. Uh, Key, the Sunderland centre mid. Um, held that centre mid spot very, very well indeed. Um, wasn't really a goal scoring threat in a sense that didn't get up the field too much. Um, he had, did have a high attack and work rate, which probably was maybe his downfall, but I didn't feel like he ran up the field way too much. He did support it, as you can see, um, gave some assists and stuff like that, but uh, he, he definitely wasn't out of position too much. Uh, moving on to the defence, uh, right back and left back were what the probably the lower rated players of the squad and uh, the main reason they were okay was just their pace um, and uh, they they both had high attack and work rate so somewhere getting up the field which you kind of want in a 4-5-1 uh, because you've always got that centre mid who can kind of stay back and hold the back uh, two centre backs got decent pace worked very well together and the keeper was okay fairly solid all together um, keep them not too bad, uh, centre-backs have got pace and the 63 pace of the other centre-back worked very, very well in Combison and uh, formed quite a fairly solid defence. But guys, this is coming towards the end of the episode in the end of the Korea World Cup squad guy builder, guys. If you've got any suggestions, any players, uh, if you want any more information on these players and if you're going to build this squad, make sure you go in. So I'll probably rate it about 6, 7 out of 10 it was a fun squad to use, but probably wouldn't do as well against some of the stronger other BPL squads, Serie A squads, Bundesliga squads you come up against um, in the likes of seasons. But guys, this is coming towards the end of the episode. If you like so, make the like button, also remember to subscribe, stay tuned to this series, and any feedback in the comments would be much appreciated. Sure. Appreciate you guys. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.